Hi everyone, Dr. Lee here from Your Vet Online, and today's top tip is all about how to enrich your cat's time at home. All right, so number one thing to do to try and enrich your cat's life at home is to provide their food in a way that's like, well, sort of simulates hunting. So cats aren't used to having a bowl of food. Just remember that. They're used to having to hunt for it. So what a great idea to do is to actually work out how many biscuits your cat has for a day. So if they have a small cup, then you spread that and you pop it all over the house in different spots and little toys and things like that so that they have to go and work for it. There are lots of enrichment toys you can um, use to help you with this. You might hide the food inside and it just means that your cat has to do some work to find it. So number one tip is hide the food. Number two tip to improve enrichment in your cat's life is to provide toys and games for your cat to play. Some of the cool things that I've done in the past is you get the little laser and you put it on the wall and you spin that around. That can be a great game for your cat. The other great one is always, um, it's actually really simple and it's the fishing rod with a bit of string. You can sit, watch TV and just flick that string and your cat will have a ball. But basically, you're providing them playtime, you know, some things to do, they're enriching their mind. Really, really important to help your cat stay alert and happy in their life. So number three is vertical space. Cats love to get up high, whereas we are very much a um, and humans, I mean, are very much a horizontal sort of dweller. Cats love to get up high, they look down on the world. It's kind of like, I just want to be king of the castle. So, providing your cat with the opportunity to get up high, whether it's a, a cat stand, whether you've got shelving, walks around your walls, all that sort of thing, is an amazing treat for your cat and really helps them with their environmental enrichment. They absolutely love it. So number three is get things vertical. <laughs> number four is providing things like hideaways, tunnels and boxes. You might think it a little bit strange but cats love to hide and they do so and then they love to just peek out and watch the world go by. And that is surprisingly actually provides them with quite a lot of environmental enrichment. So tunnels are quite a cool thing. You might even get some big bags and um, you know, the old paper bags are really cool and you can cut out the other end and it's like, a, and sort of prop them up and make tunnels for your cats so that they can sort of hide in between. They love that too. So yeah, tunnels, boxes, cats love a box. So pop, pop a box on its side, maybe put a little bit of bedding at the bottom. You'll find that they'll love to do, to get in there and make it their bed. And yeah, absolutely love it. So number four is hidey holes, tunnels, and boxes. Number five is actually providing a water fountain for them to drink from. Some of you might have already noticed that heaps of cats don't really like to drink their water from a static, still water bowl. But they might like either drinking from the a tap, like the tap might be dri dripping and they, you find that they go up there and they love to um, drink from there. So you can actually purchase fountain water bowls and you'll find that lots of cats absolutely love to um, use those. They, they often play with the water and they'll drink a lot more. And let's remember, aside from it being really good for their environmental enrichment, that we want to encourage our cats to drink more because so many of them get problems with their kidneys and we need to keep them hydrated and yeah, let's keep them happy and 
healthy with a water bowl that's a fountain. All right, so number four, let's say number four is a fountain water bowl. Okay, we're up to number six, I think. <laughs> and this is using, um, providing a scratching post. Cats love to scratch and often they, you might find that they're wanting to scratch on your <laughs> furniture. Well, forget that. Why not provide them with their very own scratching post? And there's some products like Feeless Fee Scratch, which can help encourage them to actually use that post to scratch. It's a natural thing, cats love to do it, so why not provide the environment for them? So a nice vertical post and put it somewhere where the cats are around, it's not in the way, they're in the room with you, and you'll find that will help them out a lot. So number six, providing a scratching post. Right, and number seven is visual DVDs and that sort of thing. Now these are some of my favorite things to do. I love watching cats um, watch the DVD and they jump and they play and those mouse ones are hilarious. So you'll find that that keeps their mind agile, they're playing and yeah, it's something that you can set up at home, maybe you, when you're out, so they've got something to do. Um, an iPad is quite a good way of doing it. A lot of people put the mouse play on the um, iPads and the cat can sit there and they follow the mouse and they have a great time. So again, it really helps with environmental enrich enrichment. So that was number seven and that was our final tip for keeping your cats environment enriched and help to keep their minds agile and their bodies healthy. I'm Dr. Lee, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wish to subscribe, click the link below and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.